Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Sir, I'm back with another tutorial. And I got a couple requests to do uh, a camera pan or camera dolly effect, uh, sort of like this, where you see the camera, it just moves across the screen. Um, sorry, my computer is running kind of slow because I'm running After Effects and the screen capture recorder. But as you can see, it's moving across with multiple shots. Okay, so let's open up After Effects. So as you can see here, I already have my composition set up with my clips. So just drag your clip in. So as you can see, I have one continuous clip. And in between the clip, I just moved to the different things that I'm going to do. And so basically, I just moved around. And as you can see, I left the camera on a tripod. So it doesn't move. And you want to try and get a continuous background so it's continuous so the edges match up but as you can see I didn't ha really have ideal conditions on this side it's lighter and this side it's darker and as you can see there's sort of the door stop right there once you find that place you want to get the camera back anywhere between five and eight feet from your subject depending on how tall they are and how much of the background you want the audience to see so I didn't really have that much space so I did just a small close-up shot so here, let me change this real quick so I just filmed it on a tripod with a HMC 40 from Panasonic and so see here I'm doing all this different stuff so all you really need to do now is if you did one continuous shot you want to go ahead and cut that up into pieces so what you want to do when you're cutting it, you want to make sure you have a little bit of headroom for when it transitions from one shot to the next. And then once you have that done, you're going to find your next piece where you're going to do whatever. I'll use this right here. Give it a little bit of headroom. Go edit, split layer, and I can delete this part in the middle because I'm not going to use that so you can delete whatever's left over and then let me go ahead and rearrange these and you want this one right there so you want your footage your middle footage to be able to overlap between both of these okay so you need it to go the whole length so from here to the end of this clip so you want it to start when you start it moving from here to here you need it to line up all the way through so you can see it as it transitions otherwise you'll get a black screen like this so first let's position everything and let's open up hit P to find the position so what you want to do is you're going to parent your second layer to the first layer so just hit like that parent to the first layer okay and the second the third layer you're going to parent to your second layer like that and all you're going to do is depending on your resolution because mine is 640 because my film is 1280 by 720 so halfway in between that is 640 so all I need to do is move that over until I just see nothing so 1920 is about where you want to be if you're using 1280 by 720. So once you have that lined up, you're good. And so you want this to last all the way throughout to the end when you move to the position. So you need this to the top layer to last long enough for this layer to get all the way through. So I'm just going to stretch this out like that so it's gonna last all the way over so you won't see as much of it because it's gonna be panning over you won't see it really so up to there is probably where it'll stop and you can extend this out and you really want to extend this part out as well to the end of that so it lasts in between both so you want to position this third piece too so if we zoom out again you can see that there's no third video because we need to reposition it and we're just going to do the same setting because this is parent to the second layer we're just going to parent this to since it's parented to the second layer we are going to 
put in the same number here and it'll reposition it to the same distance away so if we click on our layer you can see that it's going to be there so now you can see it it's part of the third layer so if we stretch this out all the way and we restretch all of these because we have them all queued up okay so now all we need to do is animate the position of the very first clip so we take the position put it at the beginning hit the stopwatch and go all the way to the end and hit the keyframe button again and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna move it back three spaces so it's gonna be negative nineteen twenty like that and there you go and you see there's my third clip there so as you can see it's gonna move between all three and what you wanna do is beforehand you wanna sort of time yourself based on how long you want each clip to go so just record one piece and then sort of look back at it on the camera before you go to edit it because you want it to last the same amount each time when you're panning so you want a nice continuous pan you don't want it to speed up in one part and slow down in the next so you want to sort of time it right which I didn't do and also in ideal conditions as I said before you want clean plate background you want a continuous not really anything in the side mirror part side area and for harsh edges like this you will want to match the backgrounds so for this it wasn't really a good idea because the lighting was uneven you'll want to have this lined up correctly and you want it to sort of match in color and to do that you can add a levels effect if you go to color correction and then levels and then you go through each channel and set it to each different channel you set it to red blah 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 you set up all of the contrast correctly to where the walls sort of match and then you just go through to each channel and then you just sort of match the colors and contrast so when you get back to normal mode it'll sort of look the same but here it won't do that I know for a fact because I didn't really film it correctly so as you can see there's a light hot spot there so that really won't be fixed so you wanna have it right the first time so but as you can see I got a little bit closer than when it was off so just mess around with that or you can do the same exact thing if you like curves better so go to color correction curves this is just a rough cut again I didn't film in ideal conditions and you also want to make sure that any actions you're doing are not going outside of the frame like as you can see here the coin goes out of the frame and it doesn't transfer over to the other side so that will make it look sort of botched so as you can see there you need to make sure um, make sure you set up two specific positions where you do not want your actions to pass and I would go over in your camera to make sure just do a couple practice runs to make sure you're not going over it and there you go so thanks for watching this is Mr. Sir any other request just leave them on my channel page PM me comment um, thanks for watching see ya